Ivanka Trump took the witness stand today in a civil fraud trial against her father and the Trump organization. She is not a defendant in the case, but was called by the prosecution. The lawsuit alleges the defendants fraudulent, fraudulently inflated assets on statements of financial condition in order to secure better loan and insurance terms. CBS 2's Alice Gaynor was in the courtroom once again, and she joins us with more on today's testimony. Alice? Well, if it was up to Ivanka Trump, she wouldn't have been here at all today. An appeals court dismissed her as a defendant, saying the claims against her were too old. Her and her lawyers tried to get her out of testifying, but the court ruled she must be here for that. She was mostly soft-spoken and polite on the witness stand, and multiple times her answer was that she could not recall when asked about numerous emails, conversations, and meetings, even though they showed her documents to jog her memory. Trump entered the courthouse to taunts of crime family from people gathered outside. Unlike her father and brothers, she did not stop to speak to the cameras. New York Attorney General Tish James did. Ivanka Trump secured and negotiated loans um, to obtain favorable terms based on fraudulent statements of financial condition. On the witness stand, smiling at times, her voice low and even, Ivanka Trump told the court, much like her brother's testimony, that she too was not involved in her father's personal financial statements. When specifically asked if she had any role in preparing them, she said, not that I'm aware of, no. Emails she sent and received and other documents referencing or attaching former President Trump's statement of financial condition were shown in court, including to Deutsche Bank. According to the emails, Deutsche Bank seemed to be the only lenders offering financing terms the Trumps wanted, but he had to fulfill a couple of requirements in order to get it. One being that he maintained a net worth of $3 billion that she negotiated down to two and a half. That 2011 statement of financial condition given showed Mr. Trump's wealth as more than $4 billion, which they're accused of inflating. A former executive vice president at the Trump Organization, before leaving to become an advisor in her father's White House in 2017, Ivanka Trump worked to establish a relationship with Deutsche Bank's private wealth management group, testifying her husband, Jared Kushner, introduced her to someone. Prosecutors asked, did you understand that the Trump Organization, by dealing with the private wealth management group at Deutsche Bank, was able to obtain a lower interest rate and lower origination fees than if they had dealt with the commercial real estate group? No, she said. It's a non-jury trial. The judge already ruled they engaged in fraud. What's left to decide? Allegations of conspiracy, insurance fraud, and falsifying business records. All defendants in the case deny any wrongdoing. Again, Ivanka Trump is not a defendant in this case. On cross-examination, she testified that the banks were happy to do business with the Trump Organization. The state rested its case today. Up next, the defense. Outside of the courthouse in Lower Manhattan, Alice Gaynor, CBS 2 News. Okay, Alice, thank you.